Hey guys, I'm Ricky Morning. Here we're back on this NHL 23 Rangers franchise. Today it is the off season, so no no games this this episode sadly. But it's the off season, uh, so you know that brings many fun things: the draft, reese, free agency. Anyways, if y'all didn't check out last episode, we won the Stanley Cup uh, in four games. Um, I think it'll show. You, we can just show you our our um, journey from from. The playoffs, you know, we beat the Red Wings in four, beat the Devils in four. A game that probably could have gone six games against the, or a series that probably could have gone six games against the Panthers, we won in four. We just got lucky in, like, two of those games. And then we beat the Avalanche in four. The Avalanche just decided to not show up. And the, AH, the AHL, we sucked, but the Charlotte Checkers won um, in the AHL. Panarin had 94 points to end off the year, uh, which... Where would... That be? Would it be in League? Where could we look? Rec... Or what's Rec... Oh, wait, no. I don't even know this. I... All the freaking records? I didn't even know this existed. Uh, hold on, wait. If I look at, um... Okay, wait, hold on. Most goals. Ovechkin's up to second. He's he's climbing up there. Okay. I just wanted to look. See how close he was. So, yeah. Ovechkin will probably pass Gretzky. Um, if he doesn't retire, which I, I don't see why he would. I want to look. Can we look at awards? Because it just said the awards were locked. Can I not look at them? I cannot look at them. Okay. Um... All right, but the draft is coming up, and Connor Bedard is probably going to go first overall. I don't know how cheap this would be, but just just imagine. I'm going to keep those aside. Just imagine we get that first overall pick in a trade. Chicago's got it, so Bedard probably going to go to Chicago. Anaheim is second pick, Philly third. Uh. Calgary? No, they weren't a playoff team. Never mind. Um, were any of these teams playoff teams? I I don't know. I don't think any of those teams were playoff teams. Or goals evaluated. Yeah, let's look at the draft class. Okay, so in the draft class, ladies and gentlemen, Bedard, I mean, he's going to go number one. We can pin him on there. Petrov, we can pin him too. But basically, what I want to look for in this draft, I'm not looking for goalies. I'm not. I, I'm just looking for like a defenseman, mainly defenseman. I feel like that's somewhere where we might be able to improve, and maybe like a forward. We don't have that many picks. I think we have like four picks. We don't have a second, third, or fourth round. We have a first round, a fifth round, a sixth round, and a seventh round. We tried to make a lot of trades at goalie, and those trades at goalie really helped us out. So, um, basically, we want to be looking at forwards that are kind of a little lower down the list. Um, so, I, I'm i just going to scout a bunch of forwards here, scout all the defensemen, and we'll see just who's left out of, out of all these guys. You know, I doubt we're really going to be able to get many of these guys that are just sitting here, but we can, Ethan got here, is he related to, uh, Jesper got, or what's his first name, Julian, Julian got here, um, but yeah, we're just gonna scout a lot of these guys, uh, a lot of defensemen too, wherever they're at, here we go, um, but no, our goalies, we're pretty stacked, uh, in both the AHL and, ooh, a hey, Kitchener Rangers, we'll take that, Rangers to the Rangers, you know what I'm just saying? Uh, but, uh, <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, our AHL goalies are stacked. We just need to hope the AHL team can do good, because we sucked, uh, last season. Okay, player retirement? Let's see. Let's take a look at, at the, uh, retired players. Um, oh, I can do this. All right, we want to go to the Rangers. Where are we at? Uh, everybody retired? Nope, we had nobody retired. Interesting. Okay. Uh, oh, gosh. 
Following coaches have retired. Please don't tell me our coach retired. I don't have to. Oh no, our coach retired. Okay, now we gotta get a new coach. Draft interviews. Sure. We'll do some interviews. Time in Bedard. Let's go, uh. I'm liking this guy, Dvorsky. I feel like he can maybe be somebody out there. So, you know what? Let's waste an interview on him. Well, not waste, but. Alright, uh. Let's go, um. Let's go play style, because that's important. Learning about a player's play style. What's your play style, man? How do you, what, how do you play? So I'm making passes using my vision to make plays. Like this to puck. Interesting. Um, Alright, how ready? How ready are you to play in the NHL? Okay, okay. I see it. We got one more topic to go through. Um, let's go, let's go. Uh, play style and skills. Let's go personality. How would you describe your personality? High standards for us. Good. All right. So he's don't know if we'll get him, but he's got to look at. Um, I wanna, if anything, try to get a defenseman in the first round. But if we need to take him, I will take that. Uh, we might have to wait a year right there though. How many interviews do we get? We get as many as we want. We get three. So, I'd say, let's go one more. Let's go Braden Yeager. Uh, once again, we probably won't be able to get him, but we'll go and interview with him, and then we'll go with the defenseman uh, play style. Let's see how he is. Give me a breakdown of that play style, Braden. So that was my best asset. Okay, let's go readiness. Let's see. Let's see his his readiness. Okay, we like that. So if I think, oh, this isn't even the right guy. Crap, this is a different guy. Uh, let's go personality. But you know, honestly, if he can play right now, he will play right now. All right, all right. That's a uh. That's a possibility right there. Oh, he's hoping to put on our jersey. Interesting. Does that mean he wants to come to New York? He's a sniper. We love snipers. Uh, those are guys, you know, maybe slaps, slap shots, get in there. Uh, lastly, let's go with the defense. Um, so let's go. Let's go a little further back on the defenseman. Maybe like one of these these Americans right here. Uh, let's look at Orpik. Should we should we look at Orpik? Let's let's. Let's do our interview with him. Let's interview him. And my dog, dude, my dog doesn't bark and then I freaking start making videos and he doesn't. Okay. Style of play, that's what we got. Then we go readiness. Love chat about it. Okay. Break down and play on the ice. Stay at home defense. Okay, we love that. We need some defense on the team. I would love to maybe get him in the NHL. Oh, I don't want to give him that year of development. Okay, dude, my dog, shut up. My dog will not shut up. Oh my gosh. Okay, personality is the same same pattern there. Dude, shut up. Hold on, guys. Alright, guys, I'm back. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that stops. Alright, I like that right there. Um, professional personality. Uh, defensive defenseman. We love to see that. Probably a year of development, but so I feel like it's take that one uh, that we the second guy we interviewed or or pick is who we'll take in the first round. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna have to go straight to the draft unless we can somehow get the first overall pick. I'm taking Bedard. We we'll try it. I doubt we'll be able to get it though. Uh, we'll probably we'll get, have to give up our what did we pick? Like I think 27th. So here we go. Um, Bernard probably going to uh, the Blackhawks unless we can somehow steal this from them. We're trading for that first overall pick, baby. Um, now draft picks, we're going to have to go with our round one from the stars here. 
Uh, and we might have to do... I could risk like a round five. Don't think this will work, but we can we can try it out. We can try it out yet. Yeah. Rejected. So we're probably gonna have to go with a player here. Maybe like a young guy that can kind of replace the spot that uh Bernard would be at. I mean there's Adam Fox. We're not going crazy here. I mean Lafreniere wouldn't we could probably get something there. Same thing with Zabanjad, Kako, Kreider's a little too old, I feel like, to get like that young player. Keandre Miller three years old don't really want to give that up i could try brayden schneider he's an 80 overall 21 year old um i'll try it don't think it'll work yeah rejected i could keep schneids in the trade though um and we could you know what i'm actually going to keep schneids in this trade and i we could try to get like another defenseman in free agency uh where is he at did i pass him schneids where are you at Oh, there he is. I, I passed right by him. So we go Schneids, probably a forward too. Uh, let's see let's see what forwards we're working with here. Um, Andrew Kopp, not the youngest. He's, you know, late 20s. But he's a good overall. I think, oh, we might actually be offering more value here. Hold on, we might be able to get Bernard. No. Close the trade blinds right now. Oh, the Chicago Black. I think I'll have trade block. Let's see. Who do they have on their trade block? They're over here making fun of me. Uh, skaters matching block. Goldies matching block. All skaters. Let's see. Let's see. They don't have anybody that they're interested in giving. Well, probably because they're they're so bad. Uh, what if I ask for, like, this dude? <laughs> Out of the AHL. No. Okay. Um, they don't even have a trade block, dude. We have, like, a minute to try to make this trade before it's, like, useless. Um, alright. This is my last effort. Cor Corzak, yeah. Young. Oh. So, I'd have to, like, take somebody from them. I will take, like, your worst player. Like, here. I'll go all the way down your list, and I will take, I will take somebody over, under, here. 68 overall guy. 21. Look at the value we are giving them. Andrew Kopp, Korzak, Schneids. Are you kidding me? They don't have anybody on their trade block, though. Um, we're going to have to, like, throw in another player here. Like, look at the rookie skaters, because those are going to be their lowest overall guys. Take this 20-year-old from you. I feel like I sound really Canadian right now, and I don't know why. And then we'll give you, we can give you, like, Othman, he's on our trade block. Alright, we tried. This isn't going to work. Okay. 25 seconds left, let's just, I mean, we all know who they're going to pick. Uh, we just want to send a pick. Bernard, yep. Going to the Blackhawks. Alright, now we're going to, we're going to. No, we don't want to offer a trade. We want to... I want to see what we could possibly get for our draft pick. Um, I don't think we'll be able to get much here, but let's let's see. Let's see. Let's let's see what we can get for that. No trades found. Okay, uh, never mind. Okay, uh, something we could also maybe work off is like a trade finder. Let's, let's see. Andrew Cobb, let's see. Where... What could we possibly get for Andrew Kopp? We could get a round six and a round seven. And a def... No. Never mind. I don't like that. Okay. Uh, remove you. We're just going to stick with the pick. We have. Um, it's fine. Um, so, the pick number 20. A defenseman here, probably. Um, let's see who's available. Who, who went? Uh Oh the Gothier dude went. Um Okay, Petra went second. Okay. I think that forward we were looking at is still available, but I also think that that other forward, the one we looked at second, he was still available, I think. Was it this guy? Ooh.
there's actually okay let's see let's see I wanna first let's go defenseman see what we got there um, I mean both of those defensemen are still available but their value isn't like great or anything from where they're at right now I can maybe try to get like a, 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 a like a third round just to make the value a little better I like the forwards we have here though I might pass Pinelli for this guy, even though his scout rank is 23rd. He, that could mean something that he's dropped back a few picks. This is the other guy we were looking at, Bobkov. Um, I th yeah, this okay. I I'm I think I might take this guy, Quentin Musty. He's an elite level player. I'm gonna take him. I hope that was good. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to try to get, like, a third rounder here. So we're going to offer a trade. Let's go. Actually, I'm going to try to get a second rounder here. So we want 35, I think. So let's let's go draft picks. Okay, from the Ducks, they have a 39th. We want the 35th here. It's 89th. 34th from the Flyers. Let's try this. Or no, not the Flyers, Sabres. Um, we could offer up our 5th round for them. And then we're going to have to go with a player here that is like 3rd round caliber. So let's try Othman maybe. I don't I don't know if that'll work. I think we have a little more. Yep, okay. It's fine. We'll, we'll trade him. Not that big of a deal. We'll get that third rounder right there. Um, and let's just go ahead and sim to that third rounder we have now. Um, so we have the, the second pick up here in the third round. So we will take that any day. And we are going to take... Oh, we had this guy eyed. Uh, was this him? I think this was him. Okay, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go to defensemen. We see who, you know, the highest highest ranked defensemen are here. Uh, Jaden Ball. Phil I want to take a defense in here. I just okay. This guy's been going up though. His rank. This is the guy we interviewed, right? Was he? I'm gonna take him. I hope that's a good pick. I'm gonna take that. Hopefully the the trade works out all right. Unknown. We're just gonna sim to our next pick. Okay, I like that trade though. We were able to trade up and get a player. I just hope that's worth it in the, at the end of the day. Last pick here in round six. I think we have the last pick of the draft too. Um, we could take another defenseman here. I. He's going up. His stock has gone up too. What's the? Scout recommendation. Not only is he ranked higher, but his rank is also higher. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this guy. I don't know. I hope that's that's a good decision at the end of the day. Pick two twenty four. Last pick, I think you just, here, you just kind of take the best of it. I don't know. I'm going to take this guy just because we've already taken, like, 20 defensemen here. So we're just going to take the, the left wing as the last pick. There's our four picks. Uh, I like Musty at 27. And we had Ball at 34. Bentham at 192. Okay. All right. I hope we don't regret that at the end of the day. Can we look at the awards now?
Like, I, I, I want to know. Oh, yes, we can. All right, here we go. Awards. Stanley Cup. Yada, yada, yada. You know that. We got the President's Trophy. There's Campbell Bowl that went to Colorado. Yeah, we got the President's Trophy for having the most points. And then we had the, the Prince of Wales Trophy because you know, we won the Eastern Conference. All right, now let's look at the individual awards. Art Ross Trophy. Went to uh, Alexander Barkov. Hart Memorial. Went to Panarin. Panarin got the most... The, pretty much, that's the MVP. So, Panarin gets the the MVP award. Um, so, we'll take that. We will take that. Uh, let's see. Adam Fox with the James Norris Memorial Trophy. Panarin with the Lady B, uh, Lady Bing. Is that how you say it? Bing? Something like that. Uh, Memorial Trophy. I get the Calder Memorial. Panarin with the cons. Oh, well... Yeah, most valuable player on his team in the playoffs. I mean, that was, that was, we all saw that coming, okay. Uh, we, I mean, we all saw the, the freaking thingy mick thing, too. So, yeah, there was no question. Um, the Vizino went to, uh, v v Vesevilevsky, however you say his name. So, Shesty, I mean, Shesty was hurt all year. So, we're, we're chasing that with Shesty this year. Uh, is that, we have any more award? Oh, Ted Lindsay Award. Goes to Panarin, most outstanding player as selected by the members of the National Hockey League's Player Association. We will take that. So it's pretty much just the MVP. Uh, oh, there's more. Ovechkin got the uh, the Maurice Richard Trophy, and and that is it. Uh, I wonder, did our did anybody in the AHL do anything for us? Let's see. Uh, a lot of checkers players. Yeah. No, okay, nobody on our team in the AHL. Nobody from the Hartford Wolfpack. Well, that was the awards. We we had Panarin just dominate, you know. Resign phase, this is going to be... I'll just let the game do that. Um, it is it is time to resign some players. There's some guys we need to resign big time here. Uh, what would we want to do? We want... Well, let's see, who, first of all, who wants an extension? Lafreniere, well, I think, okay, we want to go all here, because that will show everybody that has an expiring contract. Laffy, we're going to offer you a contract. Four years, that's over a million a year. Hopefully we get Laffy back. Keandre, six years, that's about a million a year. We need Heedle back. <laughs> that would be big. Years one and three. He wants three years. I mean, we're giving him what he wants. We'll give him a little over, too. Um, we want Kravstov back. I feel like Kravstov is also a guy we could probably, like, even trade, maybe. Because, um... Sammy Blay also would like to get him back. He's not, like, our greatest player, but he's, he can be there for us at times. When it would, you know, like, th that, would, that would be nice. Um, so we'll offer him a contract. And then we also have to get the guys that, like, are in the AHL, too. Because we need, we need that, like, depth for years to come. Zach Jones, I mean, he played for us a little bit in the preseason. I think he even played a few games like during the season. That'd be nice to get him back. I mean, uh, I'll let Reeves go. Reeves, yeah. I'm I'm just going to straight up release Ryan Reeves. Uh, <laughs> I don't, nobody likes that, but... Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo. Uh, he's not really going to do much for us. Archibald will offer him a contract. Doing Gothier. Okay, Gothier, I want to get him back. Um, definitely. I feel like he can, he can, he can be big later down the road. Libor Hayek. Hayek had, I, I feel like he, defensively, Hayek was, like, great. And he, he was, he, you know, he won us some games that we played. That, especially, he had an assist. I think it was in that game against Carolina. That was, like, big that we needed to win, that we won. Um, Carpenter. Carpenter had a great year for where he was playing and the amount of playing time he was getting. Oh, what did I do? Okay, yeah. Um... I don't really care about the rest of these guys, if I'm being honest. Um, I'm actually going to go back to contracts here. Because I want to 
system. Oh, we already offered those guys contracts. Unsigned. We got any unsigned guys? All these guys. Oh, these are our rookies, though. Um, at least most of these guys are, I believe. Yeah, our rookies. Uh, we got to offer them contracts. Three years. Musty. I don't even know how, I wasn't even looking at what his contract was. Three years. So these guys, you know, rookies are going to get small contracts. Um, I don't even think I offered everybody contracts. Okay, we're going to send like a day here. Um, and just see. Okay. Okay. Reject the contract renewal. Blake came back, Carpenter's coming back, Hayek's coming back. Oh no, no, Jimmy, I want you back. Thank you, we got Heedle back, got Laffy back, got Kravstov back, got Keandre back, got Zach back. Okay, you can, you can go. Uh, got Mostov back, got the air back. Nice day! Alright, you better, you better be. Um... Yep, yep, got all, got all those rookies we tried to sign. All right, I'm not going to try to I, I to actually get VC's contract back I because I want VC back. VC kind of came in for short shifts, but he actually he did score a bit for the, the length and shifts he was having. I, uh, who wants extensions now? I want to give VC his extension. So we are going to, we're going to go like... Two mil on him here. Might be a bit overpaid. So we should get him back, hopefully. And then we'll try to get Archibald back, and that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give him one mil. <laughs> since he cried about, or no, 950 mil, since he cried about the amount we were giving him. Alright, uh, I think we're just gonna sim to straight up free agency now. Because we got everybody re-signed that I, I wanted to re-sign. So... Purple is signed free agents, right? Okay. Simulate up to this day. I don't know if it'll... Okay, we got VC back. We got Archibald back. So we pretty much got everybody back that we wanted, except for Ryan Carpenter. Because Ryan Carpenter was... Yeah. That was... Okay, we need to hire staff. Oh, scouts. Okay, we need scouts. Let's see. Yeah, you. You're at the top of the board. Welcome to New York. <laughs> you. You too. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, welcome to New York. I don't really care if I'm being honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, it's, it's free agency day, baby. Let's see. Who do we got out there in free agency on July 1st? Of 2023. We got some defensemen. I see. Goalies, maybe. Oh, wait. Let's see. I just want to look at the goalies. Who's available at the goalie spot? N Nito Kovic. Oh, no. We did not re-sign him. Hold on. Alright, just so we can get Nidalkovic back, we're going to give him a little more than what he wants. Seven-year contract. A seven-year contract. How can you turn that down? Alright, uh, gosh, uh, that's going to be a pain to say every freaking time, but you know what? He's elite, and he's a defenseman, and I'd love to get defensemen, so we're going to give him eight mil for five years. Come to New York. Um... Anybody else? I feel like we're good at the wing spot. We'll offer one up, though. Give him a little more for what he's, than what he's asking. Oh. They do not have the appropriate draft picks in order to... Okay, never mind. You are not coming to the team. Uh, let's see this dude. 82 overall. We'll give, we'll just give him the standard contract. I don't really care about him much. Okay, we could get him. We're going to send a day and see if we got anybody. Um, I 
Oh crap, no, I didn't want to do that. Uh... There we go, alright. A single day, that's what we will sim. There's free agency still going on. I'm gonna assume, because we got notif notifications, we got nobody. So... Let's sim to... Oh, uh, so it... Free agency period ends the 31st. So we'll simulate up to that day. Oh, I thought there was a player, and then I looked at his age, and I was like, what? Okay, we got those two scouts. That's cool. Um, trade alert. Oh. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I don't care. You went to the Canadians. Oh, no, we got... No. No. No, we need a goalie. We need another goalie. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me look at the roster. I gotta look at our roster now. Because... That would be nice. Uh... Where, where's roster at? No, no, no. It's contracts. I guess I'd just be in right here. Um, player, player stats. I don't know if this is gonna change though because, um, uh, no, 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 no. Ah, goalies. We only have Shesterkin. That's not good. We need goalies. Okay. Um. Shesty's gonna have to play all 82 games. Okay, let's let's go back to free agencies. Calm down. Breathe. Relax. There are not a lot of players left. Ni oh, Nyquist. How did I miss this right here? Okay, hold on. Hold on. The key is to just offer them much more than they want. Um, so let's go, uh... Let's go a whole million more. Million more plus. Let's, let's give them four million for three years. Yep, yeah, yeah. Come to the Rangers. Great. Best decision you'll ever make if you come to the Rangers. And then... No, wait. That's the wrong one. Uh... Shit. Talbot. Uh-huh. Like that. Won't start, but, you know, I mean... You want to come to the Rangers, eh? Uh, we'll give them... Three and a half mil for two years. Ending. Maybe, uh, how old is he? 36. We can probably get him for like a few years as our backup. I hope we get both of those guys. That'd be nice to get both of them. Um, since we did not get any of like what the three guys we offered. So that was fun. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's go ahead. Hope we get those guys. Uh, yes, we got, we got the goalie. Okay. And we got Nyquist. Gustav Nyquist he was extremely happy to, to be coming to the New York Rangers. All right. That, I'm fine with all of that right there. Uh, we kind of downgraded at that backup spot at the goalie, but you know what? It works out perfectly. Um, around three and around five in 2025. Um, for 20, oh, I don't know what the, let me see what we have, because I'll, I might accept this trade. What overall is this guy? Hold on. Player info. Is it top 60 low? 69 overall, he's 22, so he's young. Four goals, nine assists. Let me see what we have for this upcoming draft. Like... Yeah, it'd be the upcoming draft. 2024, we have a round one, we have a round four. We don't have a three or a two. I might try to sneak out, uh, like, a second round out of this, too. I can try it. I don't think it'll work. Oh, and it's the Blue Jackets, too. And... No, they don't want that. Okay, let's maybe give them... A round because we get the round three, we get a two and a three. 
Give him a four. How oh, can I not? I can't offer that. Maybe a five. Eh? I still don't think this is gonna work. No, yeah. Okay. We'll give you a, a, a player then. Um, let's just scroll down. Get like a low overall player. That is not a low overall player. You're already in the trade, Barbashev. Come on, come on. You gotta be liking the. Okay, you know what? Um, I'll just take what you guys offered. I'll take that. That is, I feel like that's a good, good trade. Uh, end of free agency. And we, oh, we need to skip a day pass so we can get to the next phase. That's right. Go to September, do you remember? Twenty first now, September. All right, we skipped all that. It's the off season now. So the game just expects me to. Wow, we sold ninety nine percent of our club seats, ninety nine percent of our lower bowl, ninety nine percent of our upper bowl, ninety nine percent of our suites. That's sick, Dad. That's sick, Dad. We're just gonna have to simulate every day one at a time I think or are we I don't know when does the freaking season start I don't know I just want the freaking season to start come on we're simming and simming and simming and simming and simming <laughs> oh is something happening oh available funds bonus Providing you extra money for the upcoming season based on your profit earned last year, man. Oh, <gasps> we got funds. Um, we could try maybe some like preseason trades too. It's new season, so let's get you right now. We're gonna have some guns for upcoming season. I like you have time to view owner goals to win the Stanley Cup. <laughs> yeah, uh, of course, yeah. I want us to win the Stanley Cup. Okay, uh, <laughs> defending home ice. Get 28 home wins. I'd say that's the worst. 95% of available season tickets this year. And we kind of already do that. Yeah? Thought we already kind of did that, man. Um, Alright, let's, let's set some captains. Let's set some captains. Because I'm going to be taking away... Jacob Troop is captain. And I'm going to be making Artemi Panarin a captain. And I'm going to be giving Zabanaj at an alternate captain here. Um, and yeah. that That's the only chance. So Panarin's going to be our captain now. Zabanaj and Krides are going to be our alternates. Oh. Oh, wait. Hold on. I hope that saved. I don't think it saved. Hold on. Did, yeah. No? Did it? Oh, it did. Okay, now saved um edit lines let's see what the lines are looking like they'll probably just stay how they are but just in case we'll check them out uh do i want Kreider all the way down the third line though um not really so what i'm gonna do is i'm, I'm gonna move kako into the third line kravstov I hope Krabs can Krabs play left wing. I think he can. He'll probably be fine there. Nike, what's Nyquist's overall? I mean, he's kind of old. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think we might move Blay. We'll, we'll move Blay down to this line. I'm gonna move. Okay, I like where the kid line is. Although, because Trocheck might not get a lot of time. I'm gonna move Kravstov down another line. No, actually, I'll just keep them how they are. Alright. Now we need... This. Keandre and Adam Fox. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Alright, yeah, that can... That can stay the same. Team strategies. 
Well, that can stay the same. I don't care about that. Um, all right, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, I like the lines. How they are. Just how they are. Yep, like the lines. They like that. Although, actually, let's go back to defense. And maybe, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I plan on playing Zach Jones, but let's just see. Libor is, yeah, okay. You know what? There, that's fine. Um, keep the lines how they are. Uh, uh, done. Yeah, we're done with all, with all that crap. Simulate day. Oh, oh, I don't want to sim to that game. So we'll play that game against New Jersey, like the actual next episode, because we always play one preseason game and then we get straight into the regular. Um, and then we open off against the Blue Jackets, so we'll play that one. Um, but I do want to see what trades we could be looking at here. So let's go team management, and I don't know what time I started recording, but I think we have plenty of time. So what time is it right now? Oh, it's almost 10. Okay, let's let's see, because I wanna I wanna see who we could maybe get if if we offered up Andrew Kopp in a trade. If if I don't like what we're looking at, I'll just completely get rid of it. Okay. I might get a little biased here because because I love I love seeing Ryan McDonough in that trade. The Preds are offering us two different trades. Let me let me very carefully consider this. McDonough, a former Ranger. He's an 85 overall with an X factor. He is kind of up there in age, though. And I don't know if I want to give up a 28-year-old center for a 34-year-old defenseman. But I really like that. And Nick Jensen, he's also kind of up there in age, though. This is a oh, this is a tough one. I will take Jensen out, but I'll see if I can maybe try to get like a first rounder out of them here. Um, if they even have one, yeah, they have one. I don't think this will work, and it didn't. But I feel like the Preds could have a bad season, so I also could risk throwing up our first rounder. And see if uh, however we run. Uh, okay. What would I have to like? Oh. I'm trying this. Because I would love, like, I absolutely love to get Ryan McDonough. Okay, you know what? I'll take the first rounder out there. I'll also take our first rounder out. And I'll try to sneak a second rounder. Because that is on the block. Rejected. So it's going to be like that, isn't it? I could ask. See if they want a round seven pick. Doubt it, but. Yeah, okay. Take that out. Maybe try... Like... You know what? No. We're not going to do this. Not doing that. We are not going to do that. I don't know about trades right now. I don't think they're going to work right now. So I'll simulate up to this date, and then I'll call it an episode. So that was the off season, guys. Um, oh, hold on. Okay, I'm not even gonna change anything because I'm like that. The next episode, guys. Um, we got a new captain, and also a new alternate captain. New Jersey's off to an own one starting the preseason. I mean, it's the preseason. I don't think it really matters. It's back to a stressful time where we need to get points, guys, because 
uh, it's it's the regular season. It's no longer in the playoffs. I'm kind of in the swing of the playoffs. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed the off-season episode. It's, you know, we took, took things kind of slowly today, but don't worry. We'll get, we'll get things back going next episode in the preseason. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And you know, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.